Stray Cat Rock Wild Jumbo movie review. So this is the second review I'm doing in the Stray Cat Rock series. Stray Cat Rock series is a series of uh, exploitation movies or kind of uh, youth exploitation movies from the early 70s in Japan which uh, when I was living in Japan I didn't really know much about these movies but I stumbled upon them and they look kind of cool and so I decided to check them out. Uh, I talked more about this actually in my review of the first movie in this series which was Delinquent Girl Boss. Uh, since I went through all of that I'm not going to get into all that again I'll just link to my previous review down below. But here I am now going into the second movie in this series. There are five movies in total. Now, uh, I didn't really know a lot about this series before I started watching these movies, so I didn't actually realize at first that it wasn't... It's a series, but it's not one continuous story. Each movie in the series is a different story. And I guess it's a series just by virtue of the fact that it's kind of all made by the same people, and it's got a similar aesthetic, uh, and I don't know. Uh, for whatever reason, it's called a series. So I didn't quite realize that at first, uh, but it, came, it became obvious as I was watching this movie. For example, the, the main character, uh, played by the actress Miyako Keiji, uh, died in the previous movie, and then now she's back in this movie. Uh, in the previous movie, Miyako Keiji was the leader of a girl motorcycle gang, but in this movie she's part of a kind of a mostly all-male gang that rides around in a jeep. And then thirdly, spoiler alert, uh, there's kind of a Bonnie and Clyde ending to this movie where everyone gets kind of shot by the police. So that would seem to indicate there's no more sequels coming on. But in fact, there are three more movies in this series. Uh, and I looked ahead, they're all starring Meiko Keiji. So obviously, I think each, each movie in the story Sorry, each movie in the series is just resetting the story. So kind of same group of actors, uh, same director, I think, and it's a series in kind of that respect. But then it gets a little bit confusing because Wado Akiko, or Akiko Wada, uh, from the previous movie, makes a brief cameo at the beginning of this movie and appears to be playing the exact same character she played in the previous movie. But the Miyako Keiji is playing a different, I don't know, it just gets confusing. Uh, it, well, you know, this is, a, this is a Japanese youth exploitation movie from the 1970s. I'm not going to try and think too hard about it. So talking about the plot of this movie now, Wild Jumbo, uh, actually much of the movie doesn't have a plot. It's just a, kind of a kids just want to have fun movie. Uh, the gang kind of goes around, they create trouble at the beach, they mouth off to cops, they steal boats, they rip off American tourists, uh, they get in rumbles with other gangs, uh, one of the characters even manages to find love. They're also fondling guns the whole time, which I don't know where they got their guns from. You know, this being Japan, and Japan has extremely tight gun control laws, but for the reality of this movie, uh, for the purposes of this movie, everybody has guns. Um, and they're, they're constantly holding the guns and fondling the guns, and it foreshadows a tragic ending. When somebody, as part of their kind of youthful hijinks, gets the idea to rob a bank car and its police escort, uh, which results in kind of a tragic shoot 'em up ending in which everyone gets killed. Quite a different movie from the first one in the series. Um, it's not absolutely terrible, but it does need to be watched with a forgiving attitude. But if you like kind of this old retro stuff just for the sake of old retro stuff, you know, kind of the retro vibe and the 70s aesthetic and kind of all of that, then it's worth checking out. If you don't, then don't check this out because the, the value of the film itself isn't enough to recommend it. But kind of the old retro aesthetic is pretty cool if you're into that stuff.